Hello and thank you for tuning in to Parastato TV. You are watching The Frontline. I am Mogure Kamau. Now today I am honored to meet the cabinet secretary in one of the key sectors in our country. He happens to have been a practicing lawyer for 20 years, having served both locally and internationally. He is the president's best choice for the irrigation and water ministry. Welcome. Thank you. It's an honor to have you with us. Thank you very much. We are honored. Now straight to the point, huh? El Nino will be coming to Kenya. It's yes. no longer a rumor now. Yeah. So, and the government will need around 15.5 billion shillings right. to cater for the emergence that comes with the rains. How is the ministry prepared? We are uh, actually part of the multi-agency uh, team that have been set up uh -huh. under the chairmanship of uh, His Excellency the Deputy President. Uh -huh. We have also uh, included other ministries, uh, the Ministry of uh, Transport, mm -hmm. to ensure that if our infrastructure, uh, if affected, is, uh, uh, is intact mm -hmm. or it is rehabilitated. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we have also included uh, the Ministry of Interior mm -hmm. for purposes of uh, uh, movement of uh, populations where it's necessary to uh, avoid displacement of the people by floods. Mm -hmm. We also have the Ministry of Defence that uh, will be involved in uh, supplying uh, personnel and equipment mm -hmm. to help uh, alongside the Ministry of Devolution that uh, will be giving us uh, the National Youth Service uh, uh, personnel and equipment also, particularly to desilt dams. Mm -hmm. This would uh, increase storage for the excess water that we expect from uh, uh, harvesting uh, from the El Nino rains. So all these ministries are working together. Uh, we are also, uh, as national government, working closely with county governments. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the national steering team, we have had uh, governors represented uh, by their chairman, uh, Governor Munya. Yeah. We've also had uh, Governor Gashagwa from uh, Nyeri. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've had a, a round table meeting, uh, national government with the county governments, with the uh, development partners as well as private sector. Yeah. So we have a multi-pronged approach uh, that cuts across all sectors to deal with this situation. Mm -hmm. What we're saying is that uh, El Nino is not a rumor. Yeah. It is coming. Yeah. We are already seeing the signs of uh, unusual rain. And these rains will get unusually heavy as we go into uh, towards the end of uh, this month and uh, mid next month. Uh, the experts have told us that uh, that will be the peak. So we are all working together and we need all hands on deck to ensure we, uh, we cope with this situation. Okay. So all we want to do is to assure Kenyans mm -hmm. that as national government, uh, in uh, partnership with county governments and our development partners, we have a plan and we have programs already uh, put in place. Mm -hmm. Speaking for my ministry, we have already started uh, strengthening dikes, particularly in flood prone areas. Mm -hmm. Last week, I was in uh, Kisumu County, and with Governor Ranguma, we went round the uh, Ahero irrigation scheme. We went uh, through Nyando, and I even met uh, Mama Serekali Saidia yeah. uh, all the way to her home. We are putting up dikes along River Nyando. Mm -hmm. uh, this will uh, stop the river busting its banks and actually affecting the people as it has done year in year out. In Budalangi also, uh, we were able to tour uh, Busia with uh, Governor Ojamo, mm -hmm. and we are already raising and strengthening dikes along River Nzoya. That is where we normally have problems. Mm -hmm. We are also, uh, through National Water Corporation, uh, setting up uh, check dams in Narok. And apart from that, through the National Irrigation Board also, we are looking at uh, 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 excavators uh, going to flood prone areas like Nyando and Kisumu mm -hmm. to ensure that we clear the canals, mm -hmm. we do desilting and uh, uh, clear the waterways so that we avoid flooding around the lake. Okay. So these are some of the things that we are putting in place now mm -hmm. but we know that the Ministry of Health is also uh, putting mm -hmm. in uh, necessary preparations mm -hmm. because when you have excess water we also have uh, a disease outbreaks. Yeah. So we, we, we have the Ministry of uh, health yeah. stocking up drugs and uh, preparing to counter any situation that could arise. Mm -hmm. Equally, our counterparts in the education sector are also preparing mm -hmm. because uh, most likely schools could be affected, uh, some classrooms could come down, mm -hmm. and we are all working together uh, 
so these are the preparations we have put in place. Okay. But our prayer is that uh, it will not be as severe as it was in 1997 when we lost lives, mm -hmm. we lost property worth billions. Mm -hmm. And uh, all we are telling Kenyans that wherever you are, uh, please remain alert. If there's something uh, you can do to move from uh, a risk area, mm -hmm. please do so. Uh, and uh, uh, We also expect landslides apart from floods. Uh, and this has happened uh, around Mount Elgon. It's happened in uh, areas like Moranga. So those living on the slopes should also take care. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now, away from that, uh, the ministry has come up with a review of the water bill. Yes. What really inspired this review and what impact is it going to have? F first of all, uh, we haven't had, uh, you know, major reforms in the water sector for many years. Yeah until uh, 2002 mm -hmm. when uh, we had uh, the current water bill uh, passed mm -hmm. uh, and it is this bill that actually brought huge uh, reforms in the water sector and the water sector reforms that this country has experienced for the last 10 years have been phenomenal in transforming this sector yeah. in uh, separating the issue of regulation from the issue of uh, management and ring fencing actually uh, water finances that uh, previously were under municipal councils mm -hmm. and there was a lot of mismanagement of the funding. Mm -hmm. This in uh, itself boosted donor confidence in the water sector and uh, we saw a serious rise in terms of uh, financing in the water sector. Yeah. We still have a budget of about four billion mm -hmm. then but uh, by now we are talking about 40 billion. So this has grown because of the reforms that have been put in place. But as we speak now, we need further reforms in the water sector. And the current bill that uh, the National Assembly has passed uh, is before the Senate now. Yeah. It is a vital piece of legislation for the sector mm -hmm. because it is really the legislation that will align the water sector to the current constitution. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, asking the Senate just the way the National Assembly under the leadership of uh, Honorable Amina uh, mm -hmm. prioritized the water bill. We are hoping the Senate will also prioritize it. We know that the bill has already gone through the first reading. Yeah. Uh, it has been tabled before the Senate mm -hmm. and uh, it's undergoing public participation mm -hmm. uh, so that we get the input of Kenyans. Yeah. It is a very vital bill. Mm -hmm. It will transform the water sector. Mm -hmm. It is the bill that is going to create new institutions and uh, of importance mm. uh, is really the Water Harvesting and Storage Authority. True. We haven't had an authority specifically for water harvesting. For a long time we haven't had uh, uh, a water harvesting policy. But now with uh, El Nino coming, mm -hmm. we all know how important water harvesting is, how important the water storage is. Yeah. Kenya being a water scarce country, the excess water will get through El Nino should be turned from a risk into a resource. Yeah, it can turn from a curse into a blessing. Mm -hmm. So this is why we are asking uh, our legislators, particularly our senators now, mm -hmm. to prioritize the water bill. Let's have these new institutions in place. Let us transform the water sector mm -hmm. and ensure the realization of the, the water rights yeah. under our new constitution. Thank okay. you. Now, technology happens to play a very big role when it comes to improvement of services. Yes. And in water, we have seen improvement when it comes to like billing of water. Yes. What other technology advancements does the ministry have in plan? I think we have uh, one of the biggest challenges in the ministry is uh, the issue of non-revenue water. Mm -hmm. uh, we are trying to increase access to water because it is the fundamental duty of the state yeah. under Article 21 of our Constitution mm -hmm. to ensure access to water for all Kenyans. It's now a constitutional right. Mm -hmm. It no longer depends on the generosity of the national government or the county government. It's the duty of the state, the national government and the county government, to ensure that uh, we have this access. Yeah. I believe in increasing access, we must also uh, be accountable for the water that uh, we are able to give to Kenyans. Yeah. And in some areas, you would find that almost 50% of the water supply is unaccounted for. Yeah. So this problem of non-revenue water is one of our biggest challenges. And uh, we are partnering uh, with uh, uh, our development partners, particularly countries that are so advanced technologically. 
uh, that uh, we can bring down the problem of non-revenue from the current mm -hmm. almost 50% yeah. uh, to uh, like we were in Sweden mm -hmm. and uh, you look at the non-revenue uh, water, it's not beyond 5%. Mm -hmm. We have counties like Nyeri that are doing very well that yeah. are 20%. But we also have counties like uh, Mombasa that are doing very badly at 48%, others are at 50%, uh, like in Garissa. Yeah. So we, we must use technology to see how we can bring down this issue. Yeah. And uh, uh, we are partnering now with, uh, with uh, quite a number of international companies. Mm -hmm. But also we have our own uh, uh, Kenyans who have uh, uh, the necessary expertise. Mm -hmm giving the example of uh, we, we, we have a young man called Martin Nangole uh, who is in charge of ICT at uh, the Nairobi Water Company. Mm -hmm. uh, he was able to actually uh, introduce uh, through ICT uh, a mechanism that has increased uh, revenues for Nairobi Water yeah. uh, by almost uh, 30%. Wow. So through technology we can achieve this and we want to encourage more uh, uh, water companies to uh, use technology mm -hmm. to bring down the problem of uh, non-revenue uh, water and other challenges also. Mm -hmm. We also want to use technology to improve on the quality of water. Mm -hmm. For a long time we've been uh, relying on uh, uh, chlorine True. for the longest, I mean mm -hmm. since we were kids. Yeah. The only thing we use is uh, mixed chlorine in our water. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we know of countries that are using uh, uh, other advanced technologies mm -hmm. uh, that purify their water to a level that you can drink water from the tap. Kenya experiences some yeah. water conflict resources. What does the ministry plan to do about that? In, yeah. I think it is normal, particularly uh, in the arid and semi-arid uh, lands, mm. where you have uh, pastoralists fighting over, yeah, yeah. over water. Mm. And uh, it is one area that uh, we are addressing very keenly through construction of more dams mm -hmm. or more boreholes. Mm -hmm. so that uh, uh, communities do not have to cross over to other territories in search of water and pasture and uh, bring about conflict. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very saddening to see the Samburu and the Turkana fighting or the Turkana and the Pokot fighting over water. So it is our, our duty also as national government and county governments to work together yeah. to ensure provision of water to avoid uh, this kind of conflict. But apart from uh, uh, the traditional conflicts that are happening there. We also have now conflicts between counties, yeah. inter-county uh, conflicts. Mm -hmm. You have the people of Moranga County uh, asking, why are you taking our water to Nairobi? Mm -hmm. You have the people of uh, Taita Taveda asking, why are you taking our water to Mombasa? And uh, so on and so forth. Uh, you have the people of Marakwet asking, why are you taking our water to Eldred Town? Yeah. And uh, we have to work together. And this is where national government comes in to work with county governments. First of all, to uh, make it very clear mm -hmm. that water is a national resource. Uh, water services is a devolved uh, function for the county governments. But w the water resource and the development of that resource still is a national uh, uh, function. So where we have had such conflicts, we have come in as national government and we are working very closely with county governments to avoid that inter-county uh, war. Uh, first of all, by ensuring that we have more water, we are building more dams. And uh, presently, uh, we have mega dams uh, across the country. In Mombasa, we are developing the Mwache Dam. Uh, that will really increase uh, our water storage capacity in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. We also are working on the uh, Northern Collector Tunnel. Uh, from Ranga to Ndakaini. Yeah. We want to boost the water supply to Nairobi by over 200,000 uh, cubic meters. Mm -hmm. uh, that will completely close the water deficit problem in Nairobi. Of course, we are dealing with the issues uh, the Muranga people have raised. Yeah. And uh, uh, we are looking at uh, Pokot. We have Sioi Dam. It's a mega dam that will actually add uh, a lot of water uh, in Pokot. In Nakuru recently, uh, through the Italian uh, government, uh, the Italian Prime Minister came here and uh, signed with our president yeah. a pact where we're going to have Itare Dam in, uh, in Nakuru. Mm -hmm. That is going to supply water to over 800,000 residents of Nakuru. So doing all this 
we will bring down uh, the conflict. Yes. We will, as long as uh, we, uh, we succeed to give each county more water, counties will stop fighting over water. Yes. So the issue really is to increase success uh, in terms of uh, infrastructural development, but also to increase the quality of that water. And uh, this is uh, what we're doing presently. Now lastly, Madam Veshimiwa, you had one of the key dockets. I would yes. love you to look at this camera yes. and give your final words to Kenyans. I think we want to assure Kenyans that the Kenyan government is committed to the realization of the SDGs, particularly goal number six of water and sanitation to all Kenyans by 2030. That I can assure you, we are working day and night and I'll go to every county, I'll work closely with every county government to ensure realization of this goal. Thank you very much. That was such a candid conversation with the Cabinet Secretary, Water and Irrigation. It's always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for keeping it Parastato TV. I am Mugore Kamau. See you next time.